you're supposed to call me at work the minute you get home. I did, as soon as I got home. But you weren't there. Because I was on my way here to see if you were all right. Dad, Mrs. Wallace asked me to stay after school and help take down the party decorations. How was I supposed to know it would take forever? But I did come straight home and I did try to call you. Mark, you know it hasn't been easy on me since the divorce. Well, on either of us. And you know you're supposed to call me if you're going to be late getting home. Dad, it's the last day of school. And you could have called. Look, Mark, you're going to be on your own all summer. If I can't depend on you, I don't know how we can make it. Well, you can count on me, but gosh, I can't sit on the phone all summer. That's not fair. Well, you're 13. You gotta act it. I act it. Well, maybe. But I need more from you, Mark, so I can concentrate at work. I gotta make a living. I... What? Oh, nothing. Come on. What is it? Oh, I just wish things were the way they used to be. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Hey, look, uh, I gotta go, okay? You take care. And if you go swimming, you'll be home by 6 o'clock, okay? That way we can be the game on time, all right? See you later. Hi, Susan. What's the matter with you? Nothing. <laughs> Boy, I hate to see you when you're really upset. I wish... You know what I wish? So tell me. I wish the earth was flat. Huh? So I could push my sister off the edge. <laughs> oh, what'd she do to you this time? Well, every time her friends come over, she makes me leave. They say they can't talk when I'm around. I just like to listen to them. I mean, why not? I am 12. That's an easy one. Your sister's 14 and looks 12. You're 12 and look 14. Yeah. We do wear the same size clothes. That makes her sick. Well, that thing is going to be gone this summer, and look out, I am on my own. <laughs> well, still wish I had a sister. You're crazy. <laughs> if you lived with my two brothers for one week, you'd absolutely love having one sister. What's so good about having a sister? Well, here's what's so bad about having brothers. My folks just don't treat us the same. When my brother was 13 years old, he could go anywhere he wanted by himself, but not me. I can't even go swimming unless the brother's along. The big one wouldn't come if I paid him $13 a minute. <laughs> the little one's a pain. I'll swap you even. Two brothers for one sister. You go back on a deal. Besides, they talk dirty. Think that makes them big shots. Hi, Dee Dee. Did you get it fixed? Almost. No thanks to you. Oh, don't jump on me, too. I got here as fast as I could. Dad's already on my case for staying to help Miss Wallace. I think he'd like to hook us together by walkie-talkie. <laughs> hey, the park pool's open. David's gonna be there. Wanna go? Hey, yeah, sure. No chance Mom will let me go. Besides, she wants me to babysit Josh. Hey, wait a minute. If she knew you were going, maybe, maybe, just maybe she'd let me go. Who else will be there? Who knows? Well, if you want to go, I'll just tell Mom that I'm going. Who knows? Yeah, maybe that would work. Or, do you think she'd let you go if she thought Mark's father was taking us? Are you crazy? You can't do that. understand how you got your mom to let you come swimming. Get this. She actually said, well, I guess if you're old enough to babysit, you're old enough to go swimming by yourself. Once in a while, it pays not to be so grown up. Here you go. 
Here, kid. It's just a quarter. No, he pays full price. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You've got to be 13. No, uh, I'm still 12, but everyone thinks I'm 14. <laughs> Hi, Hope. Didn't think you'd be here. Yeah, I heard Tiger Martin's lifeguarding this year. Isn't he the greatest? Yeah, yeah he's cute. Come on, let's go change into our suit. You go ahead. I'm not going in today. Marge, come to the pool. Boy, you're dead. Come on, Susan, let's change. Come on, Hope, and check out my new suit. <laughs> That's really a nice bathing suit. I had to talk Mom into letting me buy it. Do you think it looks all right? Yeah, it looks great. Better than this. But do you really think I look okay? Sure. Can you see too much? I hate to go swimming. I look terrible when my hair gets wet. Why do you care? No one's gonna see you except Mark and David. And they're so immature. I guess. Hey, do you do you think I should put on some lipstick to go swimming? Ah. Hey, you. Talking to me? Yeah, um, look, they don't allow bikes in the park. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. So you asked me. You did your job. Good for you. Looks like this is kitty time, huh? Hey, come on, man. This is my first day on the job. I don't want any trouble, all right? So how about just moving along? Tiger, would you tell those guys over there to quit bothering me? Tiger, oh, pussy cat. What's the matter? Those crates bothering you? Maybe. Maybe I can be some help. I've been known to be very helpful. Look, man, I'm not trying to start anything, but I need you to move that bike. What are you doing here, anyway? You fit in about as much as I do. Me? Yeah. Wait a second. Are you with those little weirdos? I guess I was wrong. Well, why do you say that? What I mean is, I thought you was older. I didn't think you was hanging out with those little kids and that big one. Look, you don't know how old I am. I don't think you're being very nice. I can be very nice. And I have a lot of fun, like that bike there. Ever been on one? No, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't like to. Hey, come on, Susan. Yeah, let's go swimming, Susan. We'll quit bothering you. Say, hey, wanna go for a ride? You wanna stay and play with the kitties? You finally got rid of that group, Frankie. Yeah, kind of. Say, where did she go? Who? If you mean Susan, she left with the guy on his bike. I wish you wouldn't have gone. My mother expected us to stay together. I'm sure she's okay. Look, kids, it's not my problem that she left. I mean, I gotta look after this pool. That's my job. Besides, it was her own idea. Mark, why'd you let her go? Don't look at me. I'm not responsible for Susan. But you could have tried to stop her. Not a chance. She won't listen to me. Besides, she's your best friend. I don't like this. Where did they go? Who knows? Well, what are you going to do? Me? What are we going to do? Well, we're going to find her. That's what we're going to do.
Fun machine, huh? Great, Frankie. Really a lot of fun. Are you scared? Of course not. I'm just cold. Let's walk so I warm up. It's no problem. I know how to keep you warm. Let's just walk, okay, Frankie? <laughs> Come on, don't be in such a hurry. Look, you've got goosebumps. Just relax, I'll keep you warm. What are you so uptight about? Haven't you ever been with a guy before? Sure I have. I don't need you to keep me warm. What's the deal? I thought you liked me. Maybe, maybe I just changed my mind. What's all the excitement about? I thought we came here to go swimming. Susan went off with that biker and we're going to find her. So, what are you worried about? She'll probably be back in a few minutes. Come on, Mark, let's go swimming. Mark, you gotta help me find her. Why? It's not his problem. That outdated. All right, Dee Dee, just calm down. I don't know how you think the two of us are gonna find her. With a bike, they could be anywhere by now. Right on. But we've got to find her. My mother expected us to stay together. She let me come because she thought I'd be with Susan. Now, how is it going to look when you find her? And she doesn't want to be found. But she may be in trouble, so we need to do something. So what are you going to do? Why don't you call Susan's mother? She won't be home. What about your mother? Are you crazy? That'll really get me in trouble. Well, then I'm going to call my dad. What do you think your father can do? Oh, Mark, you know how your father can be. Besides, he might call my mother. Well, if I'm not home after six, he'll be looking for me anyway. Well, I'm going swimming. That's the reason I came here. I can just see it now. Mark calls his father. His father calls everybody's mother. And there goes my summer. I think you're all acting like babies. Why don't you just let Susan take care of herself? 